Okay, after two weeks, we've got the third beta of iOS 12. It came in at around 469.8 megabytes. In this update, we're supposed to be looking for a new maps redesign and maybe some new storage. By that, I mean more. So this is what the maps application looks like right now. It's pretty basic. You have a search field. We can go ahead and search for an address. You have a list of streets around you. And that's basically it. What we're supposed to be seeing in the new one is a redesigned interface and the application is supposed to be a little more reliable. Before updating to iOS 12 beta 3, I had 230.67 gigs. We'll have to see if that storage increases after updating. We're also going to look for the new maps redesign in this video. My thoughts on this update are, I'm not really expecting a lot from it since it came in at a lot smaller size than the previous iOS 12 beta. The previous one came in at around 584 megabytes, this one only came in at around 469.8 megs, so it's supposed to have a lot less features. All I know is it's supposed to be a new maps design, and we're also going to check and see if there's new storage. I just went on YouTube to actually see if anybody else uploaded any videos about it, and one person said that we're supposed to be getting a performance boost so we'll have to check that out too i'll be back as soon as it's finished all right guys before i get into the rest of this video i just want to let you guys know that in ios 12 we have some new gestures concerning voiceover so if you're a voiceover user this segment of the video will be very important if you want to access the control center in ios 12 you need to drag your finger down from the top edge of the screen until you hear voiceover prompt you to lift for control center if you want to access your notifications on your ipad you'll need to drag your finger down even further until voiceover prompts you to lift for notification sensor if you want to go home you'll need to swipe up from the bottom of your screen and hold until voiceover prompts you to let go so that way you can go home if you want to enter the app switcher you can always just swipe up even further from the edge of the screen and the voice will prompt you to lift for control center. Or you can just do what I do. Just use the home button like you always do. We didn't get a new maps redesign which is kind of disappointing. After updating to iOS 12 beta 3, I got 231.19 gigs. Previously, I had 230.67. In the screen time section inside of settings, where it says, use screen time passcode, you have a little description that tells you what screen time will do when you have a passcode enabled. Spotlight now tells you what you were previously doing. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, take care.